First lesson, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Christ is the head. Have you, brethren, have you taken note of the text? It is only God that is in all things and controls all things. It was because of this belief that Christ said he himself could not do anything aside from the Father. And this too made Christ to call on the Father at all times. But the situation is different today. Those who are used by the Father to heal and perform spiritual tasks attribute it to their individual spiritual power. By so doing, God is not acknowledged and the glory that was supposed to be given to God is abrogated to the individual concerned. Wherever you find a man, there is a woman also. By the same token, wherever our Lord Jesus Christ is, human beings are also found there. God does not stay alone, but lives in the midst of men. All the animals you find in the bush are with God. All the fish in the water are also with God. Everything created by God, such as the rain, the sun, the moon, the stars, thunder and lightning, among other things, are in God. And He is the one making it possible for, the, for these things to perform their respective duties effectively. God is the creator of all things and He is also in all things. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Since we now know this fact, it is expedient that we surrender ourselves to the divine rule. This is is appointed time to rule over all flesh and spirits. Let us submit to him and honor him accordingly. No man owns any house or car or land or money or any other thing. For God is the owner of all things found in the world. Whatever we do, we should give glory to God. We should live in peace and love and harmony with our fellow men, with animals, fish, trees, and the entire creations of God. You should cancel your thoughts about the ownership of things of this world. For we all are nothing. It is God alone who is something. And the time for his reign has come. You have been told in the first lesson that we are all the children of God. And this in the second lesson also made it clear that animals, fish, air, spirits, air, Sicknesses and poverty are controlled by God. The mystery of creation. If you knew that human beings, animals, fish, trees, rocks, water and air, among other things, belong to Christ, who is God, you would have glorified Him. The first lesson above confirms the rule of Christ over all other things. The natural phenomenon such as drought which occurs in some parts of the world does not mean that God hates the people who inhabit those places. This is far from the truth. God loves everybody equally because he is part of his creation. Human beings are to love one another regardless of color, race, or creed. If man loves his fellow man, then he would extend such love to other creations of God. This implies a universal love, which encompasses animals, birds, and fish, among other creations of God, including angels. 
Every creation has its own assignment on earth. Virtually everything created by God is both male and female. This natural arrangement is also extended to the trees, the earth, the land, water, etc. They are all male and female. According to this divine arrangement among the heavenly bodies, the sun is masculine while the moon is feminine. This explains why we receive severe scorches of the sun during the day, but we benefit from the soothing comfort of the moon at night. There is also a male and a female wind. This mystery of creation is hidden from man, it is hidden from angel, tree and animal. It is only God Almighty, the Omniscient, who understands this mystery. No animal realizes itself to be an animal. Even man is ignorant of, of his own true nature, origin, and destination. The whole of creation is unconscious of itself. This wisdom is hidden from the entire population of the world. God can use the trees to discharge the same duties which he asks a man to perform accordingly. He can give the impetus to a stone to accomplish what a tree can do. Recall the encounter of the angel Gabriel with Zacharias. This angel of God announced the will of God to Zacharias and his wife, but because of their old age, the couple felt that what the angel said was a mere farce. As such, Zacharias reaped, Zacharias reaped the fruit of his unbelief to demonstrate his celestial might. The angel uttered a statement and this statement manifested accordingly as it is stated in the book of St. Luke chapter 1 verses 19 to 20 it says and the angel answering said unto him I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee and lo show thee and to show thee these blood tidings and behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Brethren, can you remember who was responsible for the historical deluge in the days of Noah? Who called the heavy rains? which claimed almost all the lives on earth. This great flood itself was an angel. The Holocaust that reduced the twin cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes was an angel also. The storm which almost resulted in shipwreck and led to Casting Jonah into the sea was also an angel of God. And the whale which swallowed Jonah and took him safely to Nineveh was also an angel of God. Who directed this mighty fish to the actual destination of Jonah? This is the mystery of the Most High God which is unknown to man. It is absolutely impossible for anybody to scoff at God's divine assignment and go cut free. God can employ any of his creations to accomplish his will at any given point in time. Therefore, it behoves 
all and sundry to acknowledge and recognize him as the supreme father and carry out all his injunctions all of creation is the same to god we all continue one entity the godhead he deserves thanks praise honor glory and adoration from all his creation let the first let this second lesson be read again second lesson first corinthians chapter 3 verses 21 and 23 therefore let no man glory in men for all things are yours whether paul or apollos or cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come all are yours and ye are all christ and christ is god the commonwealth of brotherhood brethren here's our two did you realize this oneness with god and all his creation this confirms a spiritual chorus which says that we are one in the lord this also confirms the statement of our lord jesus christ i and my father are one john chapter 10 verse 30. this implies that we should abide in oneness in peace in harmony and love with our fellow human beings and all creation division discrimination and segregation should be eschewed at all levels there is no jew nor greek nor bond nor freeborn there is only one god who is the father of all he has arrived and taken dominion over both heaven and earth. Why should the whole city be submerged by an earthquake, resulting in the destruction of many lives and property? Who is responsible for that? Who can cause the sea to become dry land, resulting resulting in the deaths of fish and other creatures therein the supreme father is the cause and effect of every event in the world he is no respecter of persons both man and other creatures are equal before him in terms of his love all must glorify him no matter your status or wealth he owns you and whatever you possess your wife your husband your children and all material resources are his he has enjoined us not to kill therefore if you kill you have offended god when goliath the commander of the philistine army boasted about his military might God disgraced him. What did David use to defeat him? The young Israelite used an ordinary catapult with a little stone to floor the boasting giant. Prior to this event, all the mighty men of Israel and the surrounding nations were terrorized and held under subjugation by the resilient philistine warlord suppose you lost your way in the forest and all attempt to find your way fail but suddenly you see a little glistering star you see a little glistering star ahead of you this star is to direct you out of the forest to the main road if you only if only you follow it with complete trust perhaps you may be led out of the forest by a whispering fly i would not delve so much into this mystery in this gospel i want to establish the fact that we all are one man is not better than the leaves the land the fish the or animal 
all of us are one and the same. As the trees, the stones, the birds, fishes and other animals are ignorant of nature, so also are human beings. Today we are led to the accurate wisdom of the truth that we are one in the Father. He is responsible for the songs, the prayers, the dances, the testimonies and the everlasting gospel. The angels cannot effect any change because they themselves are like human beings. As the mystery of God is hidden to man, so also are the angels ignorant of the whole situation. But God alone is all wise, is the all wise creator. He is above all things and there is nothing that is impossible to him. The ability to practice God's injunctions lies in his hand. Does the necromancer or the witch doctor know the origin of the trees or herbs he uses in his acts? Can he create a tree? What about the goat which he demands from his customers to use in his act? Does he know the origin of a goat? Which one actually belongs to him? Who knows the nature and origin of man, of animals, or birds and fish? How do you explain the mystery of conception? From whence did you enter your mother's womb? How did you survive as a fetus in the womb? Therefore, any attempt to study God is a waste of time and effort. You are rather portrayed as a fool if you study God. The more you look, is the less you see. It is advisable that you humble yourself and glorify the Father in all things. You should realize that the success of John the Baptist, of Christ and his disciples were wrought by the Father himself. That was the reason why that Christ himself said, This generation shall not pass away till all things be fulfilled. The Father is the custodian of time. If the Father does not reveal a particular thing, no man or angel or tree or spirit can know it. Recalling this overwhelming, overwhelming power of the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ declared, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. That was in John chapter 5 verse 30. Man is ignorant of God's wisdom. Brethren, Accordingly, we are ignorant of the ways and operation of God. Consider a situation where a pharaoh dreamt about seven fat cows and also seven lean cows. Consequently, he surrounded all his musicians, diviners, occultists, soothsayers, and necromancers to interpret the dream. Unfortunately, none of them could interpret it. This explains the reason why you are told that ghosts and witchcraft do not exist. It is only the Almighty God who exists. Finally, when the Pharaoh was informed about Joseph's ability to interpret dream, he ordered his release immediately. Joseph then prayed to God to reveal the dream to him for a possible interpretation. He gave the interpretation that the seven fat cows represented seven years of plenty during which period their agricultural resources could flourish. He also produced, he also predicted 
a terrible famine that was the seven lean cow that would hit the entire world. Joseph implored the king to store grains and other agricultural produce in order to forestall hunger. Joseph himself was only an instrument of God through which the whole world survived that devastating famine. Accordingly, when Nebuchadnezzar saw the golden image in his dream, he was terribly worried and sought the interpretation. When all his sorcerers, necromancers, occultists, and seers failed to interpret the dream, he resolved to kill them. Finally, Daniel, a man of God, through his divine inspiration, narrated the dream and gave a vivid interpretation of Nebuchadnezzar's dream. He supported authority of Daniel. Chapter 2, verse 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. This revealing interpretation has manifested today. In his infinite wisdom, he created the birds, the fish, the insects, reptiles, mammals, and other infinitesimal things. No tree, no angel, our man can explain the relationship of God's creation, their differences and their similarities. Do not underrate anything created by God. The Father can use the stones to accomplish His divine will. Even in the kingdom of stones, there is God's glory. The stones you see are angels and divine instruments. The Creator designed them in their shapes for His divine purpose. Accordingly, you should regard all the creations of God because we are all one in our Lord Jesus Christ. Testimony, the secret of reincarnation. At Aqua Ibom State, it was revealed to a certain woman that the child she gave birth to was re in reality a python. To verify this vision, she was instructed to abandon the child at the riverside and hide herself nearby to witness what would happen. While the woman was hiding and watching what the child would do, she noticed that the child began to cry bitterly for some time and looked around to see whether anyone would come to him. Being satisfied that no one was there, she changed herself into a python and crawled into the water. This was not in the dream but in this very world witnessed by the very mother of the child. Sometimes you rebuke someone for walking so slowly like a snail. I want you to know that that very person is reincarnated from the snail's plane. He is a human being but from the snail's family. At times, you would say that someone moves very fast and powerfully, like a lion. Yes, such a person is reincarnated from the world of lions. He is of that very kingdom. He is a lion in human form. People reincarnate from different planes. 
and so the human form inhabits different beings. Some people come from the animal kingdom, others are from the plants, the trees, the birds, the fish, rocks and other creatures. Their behaviors always reveal the kingdom from which they came. I want you to know that some of these human beings you see are stones, they are grass, they are rats, they are cats and so on, but in human form. A man can reincarnate into a tree and the tree is further transformed into another human being. Every human being reincarnates from one creature to another. If mankind would have this knowledge, we would not be proud anymore. If you have this wisdom, you would not brag about anything or claim to be greater than others. If we would have this knowledge, we would realize that we are all one in the Lord. All the wonderful works done at the time of our Lord Jesus Christ were not done by him per se, but by the Father. The same is true of Moses. The problems of, the John, the, of John the Baptist, none of us can of our own accord effect anything. The Almighty God is the only one doing everything, he is the omniscient God, he is the owner and controller of all things. When Moses was leading the children of Israel away from Egypt, they became very thirsty and wanted water badly. A voice from heaven told Moses to strike the rock which accompanied them and by, do and by doing so water would flow out. This was done and water came out. Did they know that the rock was Christ and God himself? Read 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. It says, And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. The rock was Christ. Yet water came out of it. The mystery of God is fearful. That is why most of the time when I look at you with pity, I would say that the Father's will should be done. Christ's student's natural choir has been singing that those who come from the moon shall return to the moon. The same is true of those who come from the sun, from the stars, from heaven, from earth and other planets. The choristers coined the wording of the song without knowing the implication. It is the divine order that you must return to whatsoever, to wheresoever you come from. If you are from the water, you will go back to the water. See the citation below in the book of Corinthians chapter 15 verses in the book of 1st Corinthians chapter 15 verses 38 to 44 but it says but God giveth it a body as it are pleased him and so every seed is own body all flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men another flesh of beasts another flesh of fishes, another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from the other star in glory, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. 
It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. God is in all things. When you hear that a mighty tree has fallen, it is a mighty man who has died and not a tree per se. When you shoot an animal, it is destroyed. If you kill a fly, a fish, or even a rat, you have killed a human being. I want you to know that even the leaves you pluck are parts of a human being. When you fiddle with parts of creatures, be it vegetable or fruit, you are working on human bodies. We all have been withdrawn from different planes and assembled here on earth for certain duties designed by the Most High God. So each and every one of us will return to the place from whence we came. Do not think that all the people you see are human beings. It is only the Father who is a man, a real man. God alone and his children are real human beings. It is only the children of promise who are created in the real image of God and made to be with him. That is why we see him and praise him day and night. He alone can reveal the original plane of an individual. You may start to wonder <coughs> now how you might start to wonder how smoke is produced. If the Father wants to reveal to you that there are certain human beings from other planes which you do not see found out of smoke, you may be surprised. Perhaps this could take the form of a young beautiful lady and she would talk with you like an ordinary person whenever the inhabitants of other planets or worlds want to visit the earth, they always transform themselves into human form. Because of this, it is very difficult to know where they come from. This transformation continues as a mystery to mankind. You can see something now, but within minutes, it has changed to a different thing altogether. This mysterious wisdom of God is beyond man's comprehension. Yet, that is how God wanted. Re-examine the golden text. 